Hey everyone, so today I am filming a get ready with me, a continuation of last week's get ready with me, except instead of getting ready to start your day, this is getting ready to go to bed. So this is the process of all the makeup removal and my nighttime skincare routine. So this is gonna really showcase everything you need to do to effectively remove all your makeup and treat your skin so that in the morning you wake up with really fresh, hydrated, healthy skin. So here we go. All right, so first step is to remove all of this makeup. So I'm gonna go in with the Ren Perfect Canvas Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser. So this is a really unique formula because it's three phases. It's gonna go from a gel to an oil to a milk consistency. So the first step is to go in on dry skin with clean, dry hands. I'm gonna put about a nickel size amount in my hand, warm it up, and then just start massaging it into the skin. The oil is gonna start melting off the makeup, the dirt, the pollution, any SPF. It's gonna get a little messy. You're gonna see that raccoon look I've got going on and all that black all over but that doesn't matter just keep going you're gonna then add some water so I'm gonna get my hands a little bit wet and then I'm gonna start massaging that into the skin so it turns into a milk texture then after you've really massaged that in especially around the eye area just to try to soak it off you're gonna take some cotton rounds and then you're just gonna start removing that excess and at this point you might want to add more water continue the lather and then use more cotton to remove the residue it can be a bit of a timely process especially if you have a lot of eye makeup on like I do right now but that's okay, you can keep repeating, you can do a whole double cleanse if you'd prefer to, and you can just start this all over again. Totally up to you and depends how much makeup you're using. So what makes this cleanser so unique is that it uses three naturally derived oils. It uses sunflower seed oil, which protects your skin's natural moisture barrier. It uses meadow foam seed oil, which replenishes the skin's barrier with a lot of essential fatty acids in omega-3 and 6. And it also uses grape seed oil, which is a great antioxidant protection and it's anti-inflammatory to keep the skin really healthy and calm. And it also uses glycerin to keep the hydration locked in while you cleanse. So this isn't damaging at all to the skin. It's not gonna strip the skin. It's actually a very hydrating very soothing formula. It's gonna keep your skin really nice and plump as you're removing all your products, which is a really nice thing to do. You really don't wanna strip the moisture out of your skin and cleansing can really do that. So you're just gonna pat dry and you are set for the next step. And that next step is rebalancing the skin. I'm going in with Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilient Soothing Treatment Lotion. So this is very similar to a toner, even though it's not classified as a toner. So this is a lightweight, watery lotion that promotes calm skin, has antioxidant properties, and tackles redness using reishi, a type of mushroom extract. It also has fermented chaga, which is believed to promote good health and copperness mushrooms to soothe the skin. And it also uses sea buckthorn, which has anti-inflammatory properties to also help with the redness, as well as hydration, elasticity, and cell regeneration to help rejuvenate tired looking skin. And this is why I find the step so important. It pulls out so much leftover residue and bacteria that that cleanser just wasn't able to get off. And my next step is an essence. I'm going in with Dermalogica's Redness Relief Essence. So first I'm gonna shake it up and make sure all those active ingredients are mixed together. Then I'm gonna pour some into my hand, warm it up in the palms of my hand, and then press it into my skin, ensuring I cover the face, the neck, and the decollete. The aloe vera and the colloidal oatmeal in this formula are gonna to help to calm and soothe the skin, as well as help create a physical barrier on the skin to provide and lock in hydration. This is also a great skincare prep step before a serum and moisturizer. It's going to ensure that the deepest layers of my skin can really pull in those active ingredients from the serum and moisturizer. Now that my skin is nice and hydrated, it's time for serum. I'm using the Biosynth Squalane and 10% Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. I'm gonna massage two to three pumps into the face, neck, and decollete. The lactic acid is gonna gently exfoliate the skin, and with the help of clover extract, it's gonna minimize the effects of UV rays, blue light, and pollution, so in the morning, you wake up with brighter, well-rested skin. It also uses squalane to provide lightweight hydration and lock-in moisture. This formula is used at night because our skin is in the optimal state while we sleep. During the day, it's in protect mode, and at night, it's in repair mode where the skin cells are regenerating. And adding that lactic acid and clover extract will accelerate the regeneration process so the healthy skin cells are revealed and the damage from daily life is minimized. And then I'm just gonna use my rose quartz roller to ensure that serum is pushed into the deepest layers of the skin. And now it's time for a moisturizer. So today I'm going in with Milk Makeup's Vegan Milk Moisturizer. 
I can open it, of course. Here we go. So this is a nice, richer cream texture that uses a vegan milk blend to soften, smooth, and hydrate the skin. It uses desert milk to hydrate, fig milk and oat milk to soften and soothe, and argan milk to seal in moisture. It also uses shea butter and squalane to soothe and lock in moisture, and grapeseed oil for antioxidant protection. This is a great formula for anyone with dry skin or even combination skin that really just needs an instantaneous shot of hydration and moisture. And next step is eye cream. I'm using First Aid Beauty's Fab Skin Lab Retinol Eye Cream with triple hyaluronic acid. This rich eye cream has micro-encapsulated retinol, meaning the retinol will slowly release over time, making it safe to use around the eye area. Retinol stimulates cell turnover in order to promote firmer, more plump looking younger skin. This eye cream also uses triple weight hyaluronic acid, which draws in and locks in moisture at multiple layers in the skin due to the variance in molecular sizes. This also helps to combat any irritation from the retinol. This eye cream also is packed with skin loving ingredients like ceramides, aloe, and colloidal oatmeal in order to have healthier, stronger skin. Now I'm going in with Bites Agave Nighttime Vegan Lip Therapy. This is a lip sleeping mask that starts off in a balm texture and then turns into an oil to melt it to the lips once applied. It also has this great spatula for application so it's not so messy. It's also not a sticky formula, which I really appreciate. It uses agave nectar to soothe and nurture the lips, pomegranate extract for antioxidant protection, and also uses a combination of jojoba, sunflower, and safflower seed oils to seal in moisture. And last but not least, we are going in with a nighttime sleeping mask. Today I'm using Youth to the People's Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. This formula will deeply hydrate and lock in moisture with squalene, hyaluronic acid, and glycerin. The antioxidant dense Mackey Berry in the formula is used to defend the skin and prevent the look of stress on the skin. The formula also uses THD ascorbate, otherwise known as vitamin C, to target dullness and tone for a brighter complexion and firmer looking skin. So you're going to want to apply an even layer all over the skin. You can use less than a using here, but my skin's been dry, so I want as much moisture as I can get. And then you're just gonna let that sit there and soak in. This is not a mask that you rinse off. You just let it sit on your skin and overnight, it's gonna do its magic. So in the morning, you wake up with firmer, brighter, healthier, hydrated looking skin. And as you can see, it's already started to soak in. And that's it for my nighttime routine. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone.